Let's look at a couple fluorine species and try to determine which of the paramagnetic species has the weakest bond. So F2 plus ionized fluorine, F2 minus electron added to fluorine molecules, and F2 minus 2, two electrons added to a fluorine molecule. The way to do this is to look at the molecular orbital structure, find the bond orders to determine which has the weakest bond, and then check to see if they're paramagnetic. So let's do that. Fluorine, the atoms, have an electron configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p5. So their valence orbitals are the principal quantum level 2 and four total orbitals, an s and px, py, pz. Four orbitals from each fluorine makes fluorine the molecule have eight molecular orbitals. Eight atomic orbitals should form eight molecular orbitals. So those molecular orbitals look like this. I'll get a sigma bonding and a sigma star antibonding from the 2s. I'll get a sigma bonding from the 2p. And I'll get pi bonding from the 2py and the 2px. And I'll get antibonding, pi's from the 2py and the 2px, and the antibonding from the 2pz. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 orbitals. I have to fill those orbitals with the 7 electrons from fluorine plus any charge. So let's look at the number of electrons, the bond order, and whether it's paramagnetic. So fluorine plus ionized species, 7 electrons from each fluorine, minus 1, gives us 13, a plus 1 charge fluorine uh, F2 molecule. Let's put those 13 electrons in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and now I put them in spin parallel first before I pair them. 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. 13 electrons for F2+. plus. What's the bond order? Well, the sigma 2s and the sigma star 2s, those cancel each other out. That gives zero bond order. And then I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 bonding electrons minus 1, 2, 3 antibonding electrons, so 3 total, divided by 2, 1 and a half. Is it paramagnetic? Yes, there's an unpaired electron. Let's look at F2 minus. Now I've added electron, so I have 7 from each fluorine plus 1 for 15. That's 2 more than the 13 we have here, so let's add 2 more. 1, 2. Now what's my bond order? My bond order again, those two add to zero, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six bonding electrons, and one, two, three, four, five antibonding electrons. The difference is one divided by two, a bond order of one half. So a weaker bond here in F2 minus. Is it paramagnetic? Yeah, there's an unpaired electron. What about F2 minus 2? That's going to have the 7 electrons from each fluorine plus 2 extra electrons for 16. We add one more to our 15. That'll pair that last one. And of course, it'll completely fill this. So now I have an equal number of bonding and antibonding electrons, so a bond order of 0. And I'm not paramagnetic anymore. Every electron is paired. So this has the weakest bond order, F2 minus 2 would fall apart as a molecule. Picking up two electrons goes to bond order zero, very unfavorable for F2. The paramagnetic species that has the weakest bond is F2 minus. So among these three, two paramagnetic species and the weaker bond, F2 minus.